Well, we begin tonight with a Local 24 health alert. Good evening, everybody. I'm Rudy Williams. Katina and Richard are off tonight. Well, the Shelby County Health Department is working to contain hepatitis A in our area. Three cases were reported just this month. Local I team senior investigator Jenny DePrizio is live with a warning tonight. Yeah, you know, this year almost 500 cases of hepatitis A have been reported in the state of Tennessee. The majority have been in Nashville and Chattanooga, but now it's here in Shelby County. Our biggest responsibility is to prevent the spread of disease locally. Alisa Househalter, director of the Shelby County Health Department, says hepatitis A is very contagious and spreads quickly. Symptoms can be similar to the flu, but more severe. I think the important thing around these three cases is that we know that there's a multi-state outbreak that began in California probably several years ago and is spreading through the rest of the United States. Househalter says the Shelby County cases are not connected to each other, but all three had traveled to parts of Tennessee with high numbers of infections. The majority of cases have been in Nashville and Chattanooga. Hepatitis A is usually transmitted from person to person through contact with contaminated feces or consumption of contaminated food or water. They used the bathroom and didn't wash their hands afterwards. They used the bathroom and prepared food. They used the bathroom, didn't wash their hands and touched somebody else. Um, so those are the ways that it's spread so it can be spread fairly easily. This year there's also been an outbreak of hepatitis A in Arkansas, particularly the Jonesboro area. While that's closer to Memphis than Nashville, the Arkansas cases are not connected to those in Shelby County. My understanding is some of the cases in Arkansas actually are a different strain than the strain that we have in Tennessee. So we've actually been watching both, and the cases that we currently have are linked to Tennessee. Now, the health department is giving out free vaccinations for some at-risk populations. I'm told the way to prevent catching the virus is wash your hands a lot. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.